We also talk about the actions of the different herbs. For example, goji berries, gochicha. We uh, say this action of this herb is to tonify blood and to help calm the spirit. And then we further talk about what are the indications, what kind of things specifically, what kind of signs and symptoms could it possibly treat. For example, uh, insomnia. Now, this by itself isn't going to help you sleep in combination with other herbs as well, but that's one of the indications that you can see in the ocean. So. <clears throat> we also talk about uh, cautions with the herbs you know, and what contraindications there are with herbs. For example, with some herbs, for example, with Hong Leon, if someone is considered yin deficient, we have to be very aware of that as we make the formula for using this herb that we do not damage that person's yin. Uh, so very important thing. And Hong Leon is a strong herb. Um, it is very cold. So people who tend to have a frail constitution and a lot of cold, that's not an herb you want to do in large doses or long term. It may not be the best choice for that type of constitution to begin with. Um, so, and when we talk about an herb being cold, it is, a lot of people will say, um, well, I warmed it up. It's not the same energetic. If you put, here's a good example, cayenne pepper. Everybody knows cayenne pepper. If you put it in your refrigerator, it's going to be cold, but when you eat it, it's still going to taste hot. That's the kind of energetic we're talking about. This cold in this herb is is the type of cold that if it was used um, incorrectly, it would make you urinate frequently all the time. It would give you very, very uh, weak digestion as well. You wouldn't have enough good fire to digest your food. You'd get a lot of bloating and gas. So this herb, wrongfully administered, can do some damage. You may not notice it right away, or you may notice it right away depending on how frail or deficient your constitution is. So we need to be very careful in how we administer and prescribe.